Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to use the test data visualizer to explore and understand your test data. Uh, and once you've got a good understanding, then we can export uh, the filtered or selected data up into Rally and attach it to a user story or, a t or to a test case. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to quickly open, uh, in this case it's a CSV, normally you'd be connecting obviously to a database, uh, but I'll just quickly show you using our credit card. <coughs> now what we have here is a little spot diagramming tool which allows you to kind of look for filter data by using basically the concepts of spots or a spot means it contains data so business debit US dollars uh, risk status okay if I double click in there I'll see I've got some data which I could export to rally now but I'm not going to do it from here and you can uh, explore your data you can understand it you can look at the sparseness of it you can look at um, understand the just a type of coverage of the test data you have. Now a good one um, if you're interested more in the volume of data, if we just add in a graph and this is going to be called PC which is parallel coordinates uh, sorry uh, and let's just take a look at parallel coordinates and what we're going to do there is we're going to start having a look at this data based on the volume. So if I look at the uh, maybe look at the account type, let's look at the card name, uh, maybe look at something like uh, the billing currency and what we're doing is here we're seeing the orange means we have some data flowing through it uh, and let's look at something like the event recent max and this is all based on actually um, individual uh, the amount of the last event and then I might be interested in looking at maybe something like confirmed for fraud status. Now what you can see is we've got a reasonably even spread of data across this. Now what I can start looking at is say well what I'm really interested in are business accounts uh, and let's look at uh, we look at debit cards. It's going to prompt me. Would you like to add to combine the selected areas? All you're going to do is just drag, uh, do a left click around it. Obviously, we're only interested in the fraud status. And what you'll see now is that actually the colours start to change. Um, the lighter the lighter the grey means the less data we have. Um, and then if we maybe we're just going to be looking at euros under these circumstances. Let's look at euros. And what we're seeing now is we the, we're we're filtering the data out of the entire universe of the set of data that we're looking at. And we're just looking at business, debit, euros, a good spread across the um, recent max, and of course we're interested in confirmed fraud status. Now all I need to do is just do a right click, which is to my data inspector, and this is actually going to show me that I've got 17 rows of data. And what I'm going to do now is just export those to Rally. So first things first, I've just already connected in. I'm going to look at, uh, let's look at Workspace ONE. Uh, I'm going to look at my uh, online store. This is to do with the platform and probably to do with APIs. Yes, it is because I'm going to. This is an API to test if it's a fraud status. Uh, and let's just make it a little bit bigger. Investigate credit card fraud model and click on export. And your data is exported to Rally successfully. And then if we pop up and let's just have a look at Rally and we'll just maybe click on uh, investigate credit card fraud model and what you'll see is an attachment which is called testdata.csv and if we just click on that just to make sure we've got the right data we'll just open it up and there are the uh, 17 rows of data that we have filtered, uh, investigated, understood uh, modeled inside our data visualization tool and now we've moved them up onto Rally where we can start using them to develop and test against.